Hey, it's Terry Gorry, and this is the Irish Law and Small Business Podcast. So, the jailed school teacher, secondary school teacher, Enoch Burke, was back before the High Court on Friday in what one commentator described as an eventful hearing. Mr Justice John Edwards is the appeal court judge who looks after the list for the Court of Appeal and it was him that Mr Burke was before on Friday. The appeal court judge in advising Mr Burke that he could not deal with the substantive issue that is Mr Burke's appeal of High Court orders which have ultimately led him to being found in contempt of court and being jailed. Mr Burke is looking to appeal those High Court orders to the Court of Appeal and he attempted to raise the issue on Friday and the judge Mr Justice John Edwards said that he could not hear the substantive issue that his job at the moment was simply to organise the list for the Court of Appeal. When the judge advised or communicated to Mr Burke that February would be the likely date for the appeal in the Court of Appeal, it raised a certain amount of protest from Mr Burke himself, Enoch Burke, who said that it was the decision to Uh, have the appeal in February, next February, is an insult to the rule of law and that the judge shouldn't be in the chair. During the hearing on Friday morning, Mr Justice John Edwards directed that Martina Burke, Enoch Burke's mother, be taken out of the courtroom after she had interrupted proceedings according to the reporting to say that her son was quote incarcerated because of corrupt judges. The judge also made an order referring Mr Burke's sister Amy Burke to the Law Society Practice Committee because he formed the opinion that she'd shouted at him in court. However he later rescinded that order. Enoch Burke has been in prison for more than a month for breaching an injunction directing that he stay away from Wilson's Hospital School in County Westmeath where he teaches. The High Court granted the injunction to the school who applied to keep him away from the school and Mr Burke did not adhere to the order. He says his conscience won't allow him to and he was found to be in breach of the court order and was jailed and is in Mountjoy prison since September. So the reason for the jailing was because he continued to attend the school despite being suspended as part of a disciplinary process in the school. The disciplinary process began after Mr Burke publicly confronted the then principal over a request to call a pupil a new name and use the they them pronouns. He's appealing or looking to appeal the injunction Uh, that was granted to the school. He's also appealing the High Court's refusal to grant him injunctions stopping his suspension. He says he cannot purge his contempt because of his conscience and as a consequence then Mr Burke was brought back to Mountjoy prison after that. He was before the High Court first thing on Monday morning also or Friday morning rather before a different judge saying that he uh, intended bringing defamation proceedings against the Sunday Independent, I think, and the Irish Independent for reporting uh, a report last week. The judge said that he wanted cases involving people jailed for contempt to be heard as early as possible and hoped it could be heard before Christmas or early in the New Year. That's just as Mr Brian Moore, before whom Mr uh, Burke was in the morning. And there's kind of two actions going on uh, or two appeals from Mr Burke going on but he is of the opinion that if his court of appeal appeal goes ahead first then the other action will fall by the wayside and will be moot. 
uh, he's sort of managing the dispute uh, between the school and Mr Burke and he said he wanted the underlying legal dispute uh, between the teacher and school heard and determined as soon as possible and he was indicating that it could be heard before Christmas or early in the new year. However, the Court of Appeal appeal, um, Mr Justice Edwards is in charge of that list and he was indicating February and uh, it was this particular decision and this particular indication from Mr Justice John Edwards that caused such anger and um, so on in the court on Friday. In the appeal court he had asked for his appeal to be heard urgently and he was indicating that it was a matter of grave a grave public interest however the judge said it was of moderate public interest. Mr Burke said it's of huge public importance uh, but he could not purge his contempt um, in conscience. So Mr Justice Edwards said that he was disposed to accept there was moderate urgency about the case but he said the first date he could possibly order or offer was 16th of February and he made reference to the other cases that are in the list and must be dealt with and obviously other persons have appeals before the Court of Appeal and other individuals have rights as well and their cases must be take their place in the queue and they must be allowed to proceed. Uh, Martina Burke, that's uh, Enoch Burke's mother, said that it was ridiculous that her son had been incarcerated because of corrupt judges. She asked if the judge had a problem with the constitution and said that the judges were colluding together against the law and the judge then asked for the Garda to take Mrs Burke from the court. He recognised that the proceedings were stressful and she was concerned for her son but the case had to be conducted with decorum. Mr Burke told the judge he'd not uh, listen to anything he'd said etc etc. He accused him, the judge of having made his mind up beforehand. Mr Burke's sister then Amy, she's the solicitor, she told the court it was a disgrace uh, and their father Sean, he said the constitution was being torn to shatters. The judge, as I say in the first instance, was directing that the disciplinary committee of the Law Society look into the matter but then he changed his mind after Miss Burke said that she did not shout at the judge. Uh, Mr Burke told the judge it was not true to say his appeal had nothing to do with him being in custody. He said he was in custody because of his conscience and he was removed for a final time by the judge or by the guards at the judge's direction after uh, he told the judge that the judge fundamentally misunderstood the case and that the judge should not be in the chair if he thought that the case had nothing to do with religious beliefs. Mr Burke then was brought back to Mountjoy prison and his mother, father and sister left the court a short time later. He's due back then in November, I think in relation to the other uh, sort of twin uh, track appeal, not the court of appeal, appeal but uh, a different appeal. Um, he's due back I think in November at some stage. So that's what happened. To say that the court or the hearing was eventful is probably putting it mildly because generally um, well clearly the events on the day uh, had a certain uh, vigor and rigor uh, to them the exchanges between uh, the Burks and uh, Mr Justice John Edwards and it's not every day that you have a person who is in Mountjoy prison uh, telling the judge that he shouldn't be in the chair and it's not every day that you have a person in support of the applicant uh, telling the judge that the only reason that he was in prison was because of um, the corruption of judges or whatever. Obviously things did get fraught and um, that's what happened on Friday last, the application by Enoch Burke. As I say, he's gone back to Mountjoy prison and the judge has said that a February trial date uh, is the earliest that the Court of Appeal will deal with this appeal. Hope you find this video informative. If you do, I'd appreciate if you give it the thumbs up down below.